What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Do you have something wrong with your posture, right? Either your head is forward, or your shoulders are slumped, or your pelvis is tilted, but just something's not right. Look, even our own posturally challenged, Jesse has been there, done that. Hey, recovering. Recovering posture deficient person, Jesse. Look, you don't have to live this way. The fact is though, we have a lot of things that can fix your problem, or six less after you watch this video. Because not everything promoted as a posture fix is actually going to do anything to fix your posture. If anything, it can actually make it worse. So let's identify what those problems are so that you never fall from them ever again. And more importantly, we get you on the right track to fixing your posture once and for all. All right, so can we talk about that sitting on a fizzy ball thing again? Right, you probably have seen this before. It's not going to do anything to help correct your posture for more than, let's say, 45 seconds. You see, while it does give you the biofeedback to be able to get into that nice upright position, there is no back support. There is no additional stability. So anything that you're lacking currently, like let's say muscle endurance and all the muscles up and down the back, is going to be challenged here rather quickly. So while it might put you in the right position, it will do nothing to keep you there. And more importantly guys, now because you're on an unstable surface, you're just going to introduce more instability from below. The pelvis can shift left and right. The pelvis can rock forward and back. You're lacking everything that it is you need to maintain this, so all it's really doing is making weak muscles become more fatigued faster. Not really a posture fix. All right, so now let's jump from the frying pan into the fire and go from bad to worse. Have you ever seen one of these things? You know, those posture braces all over Instagram. Well, guess what? They don't work. You see, if you're wearing a brace to put you in the right posture, it's sort of like the equivalent of me putting Jesse in a full Nelson here to get him to have his shoulders back. Hey buddy, you want me to help you get your shoulders back? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Uh, it's just like this. Yeah, you're good. It's not going to do anything long term. If you want to get your posture fixed, you better strengthen the muscles. You don't just put something on there to hold you in the right posture. What makes this particularly irritating is that these products are so bad that they actually have to use Jesse and I to try to help sell their products. So they just put us into their ads without even asking for permission. Look. Forget these things, guys. If you ever find yourself on a web page like this and you're thinking about spending your money, you're probably better off just taking it and, I don't know, maybe driving to a bridge and throwing it off the bridge. At least you get some entertainment watching your bills float down to the water. Which brings us to posture fix number three. You ever see this one? Guys, you don't look for these things that continue to try to just remind you about when you're doing something wrong. That's like a doctor telling you, hey, you gotta quit smoking. A reminder doesn't do anything. Actually quitting smoking might actually get you to the point where you're getting healthier. All right, hold on. Now, before you get on me for this one, let me explain myself. You see, I have an enormous amount of respect for the practice of yoga, not just doing a little bit of yoga each day. You see, because yoga as a practice can deliver amazing benefits when it comes to fixing your posture, because we know it increases your flexibility. We know that it increases your mobility. We know that most of all, it could increase your endurance in all of these positions that we're lacking with all these quick fixes. However, if you approach your yoga practice, as a quick fix, you're not getting anything out of it. Jesse here just doing a few half-assed poses, most of which aren't even done right, are not going to do anything to help correct any posture problems he has. And he thinks just because he's doing yoga that that's going to help him. No, don't make the same mistake. If you're going to do yoga, practice it, be intentioned with it, have a purpose with it, and there you'll find your long-term benefits. All right, so the next one's also a hot thing right now. And a lot of us have made the switch to go from our sitting desk to our standing desk. And somehow, that's going to fix all of our problems. Actually, I think it's going to introduce a lot more problems than actually sitting down is. Because when we're talking about postural problems and the muscular pains that can sometimes be associated with them, you're actually getting an aggravation of muscular-driven postural pain in standing rather than sitting. Now, if it's disc-related problems, sitting is always going to be the more aggravating position. But when we're standing, the reason why we have more susceptibility here is because there's more stuff we can do wrong. You see, just because we're standing doesn't mean that we can't assume bad postures. We can't stand on one leg, or cross one leg over, dropping our pelvis on one side, or lean forward even from a standing position, 
All these things are still possible and not corrected by a simple act of us just standing up. If you want to do something better for your posture, when you do stand from your chair, walk around a little bit, stretch out, hold on to a pull-up bar, decompress a little bit. But don't just think that standing alone is going to fix all your problems. And last but certainly not least, because of how prevalent this one is, we're talking about the foam roller. Now look, again, I like the foam roller, but just like yoga, if you're going to just screw around with it, I always say it's like a monkey fucking a football. If that's the approach you're going to take to the foam roller, then do me a favor. Don't use it at all. Because you can do more damage with this than benefit if you don't know what you're doing. If you were to, let's say, roll out your lumbar spine, it's a bad idea. It's going to cause more back problems than it's going to solve. If you're going to try to increase your thoracic extension and you decide to roll on it in this direction, that's not going to do anything. If you want to increase your thoracic extension in the sagittal plane, then you better turn that roller sideways and roll over it like this. The fact is, how you roll, when you roll, what muscles you're rolling, the direction you're rolling in, and how long you're doing it, all matters here. It's not just, let's go have some fun with a foam roller on the floor. All right, so look guys, if you're trying to fix your posture, we know that these aren't the ways to do it. If you want to fix your posture long term, you're going to have to put some work in. And like I said, it didn't take you five minutes to get in this position. So expect to put in more than five minutes to undo the problems you've caused. That being said, guys, I put together a whole video for you. It's called How to Fix Your Posture in Four Moves, whether or not it's the nerd neck forward head position, whether it's the rounded shoulders or the pelvic tilt. I've got you covered here. I want you to make sure you watch that video. If you're looking for programs where we actually incorporate posture correction into all the workouts we do because it matters, as a physical therapist, you can't look at one thing in isolation and ignore the rest. It all matters. All of our programs are put together that way over at athletex.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already done so, guys, Click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.